Hi there, and welcome back to CJ's Gaming. My name is CJ, I am your host as always, and we are back with part 6 of Ocarina of Time. Now, in the previous episode, we got the Goron Tunic, we went to the Fire Temple and slayed a dragon. Today is going to be more of a cleanup episode than anything. What we're going to start with, we are going to return to being a child. We've got to grab a couple of bottles, so two of those. We've got to go and to the bottom of the world to get the Lens of Truth and we're gonna have to go to the Ice Caverns to get the Iron Boots but we need to start as a child and head over to Kakarikio Village where we have one bottle and the bottom of the well now to collect this first bottle we are gonna have to collect some chickens yes chickens there's a lady there who is completely allergic to chickens but chooses to have them as pets so what we have to do is go around the village, find all her chickens, return them to her, and she'll give us a glass bottle in exchange. Because glass bottles seem to be the highest fucking currency in this game. Oh yeah, and it's about to turn night time. Although... I can't remember if that matters or not, but it doesn't really matter because we have got the sun song, if needs be. Oh, fuck off. Although what would be useful is if that remembers where I had stuff. What we can do... Yeah, it's night time, so we'll sun song. And in places where it doesn't have a rolling time, like villages, it just re respawns it. Just reloads it. Right. These little fellas. But be careful, do not attack them. I think I've said before, they will rape you to death. Twice. But we also have to do a little bit of investment with one of these chickens. There's the lady there, just for context. We have to use one of the chickens to go get another one of the chickens. And timing is pretty much everything on this jump. And that was terrible. You know, wouldn't be one of my episodes. Wouldn't be one of my playthroughs, sorry. Without some sort of stupid fuck up like that. Let's get more of a run-up, past the, the gay builders. Yeah, there we go. Right, now we've got this side. We'll launch that fucker over there. Fuck off, Navi, we're not interested. There's one here. Come here. Come here. You've got to be fairly precise with your positioning when you pick them up. Right, throw that fucker over there. Now, I can't remember, there's one more up here, so we're going to double check. Just on the in case. There he is, I knew it. Yeah, little shit. So, delivery. I'm delivery. I'm just eat. I'm going to deliver your chicken. Have a chicken. I, I feel like there's six or seven in total. There's one hidden in a box somewhere, I remember that much. Come here. I'll tell you what is a very useful system in this game, is the reverse um, Z-lock. So you pull back Z-lock, and you just instantly turn around. That is extremely useful. Oh yeah, I need another fucking one for that one. Okay. I know this one... Ah, might be this box. Yep, there he is. Yep. Got my sword, you know, my sharp sword to open boxes and shit, but nope, I'll just use my head. Got to use that loaf of yours. So, Link, how do you open a box? Do you use your, any one of your many items of equipment? Nah. I use my head. <laughs> and the fact that nobody in this village is bothered that I'm just here harassing all the chickens. They're all white chickens as well. 
I'm guessing that's just a continuation from the previous Zelda game, which was A Link to the Past. And I haven't said A Link to the Past as a previous Zelda game in quite a long time. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. One up here somewhere, right? They are the most campest, gayest builders in history. Have you seen how they run? Oh no, darling, I must get to the shop. And no, I have nothing against gays. Just don't go shoving it in my face. Literally. Whee! Plunk. There. I can hear another one around here somewhere. There's the one I threw earlier. Here you are. Right. We'll check with the lady now. And see if this was the right amount. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies so I get goosebumps when I touch them. For helping me I will give you this. Ooh, alright. Ah, oh, it's a bottle. Right, excellent. The reason we want a couple of these bottles is because something we're going to have to do in a future episode, which is collect some blue fire in a bottle. But at one point, we need two parts of it. Well, two. Two blue fire, which obviously takes up two bottles. But our problem is, is that we always need to have a fairy in a bottle for obvious reasons, because I'm useless and I die. So I need to get another couple extra bottles. Now, you remember previous episode or episode before? We learned the Song of Storms, and this is why. So we can paradox this shit. He was saying about a kid who played this song once. That kid was us. And what it will do is empty the well so we can get down there. It's not the... It's like a little side dungeon, the same as the Ice Temple. Probably about 10-15 minutes in there, maybe. But we've got to come out with the lens of truth as we're going to need that in the future. What the lens of truth does, it is pretty much what it says on the tin. Some things in this game are an illusion. And this will tell us the truth. It will be needed later on when we go through the Gerudo Desert. Which I cannot wait to do the Gerudo Desert because that Gerudo Valley theme is just on point for a video game music. It is fantastic. It's like some weird Spanish, Mexican, old desert guitar theme. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it to be honest. But it's just a tune. Very, very well done. What's up with the spider? Is that the spider? <laughs> How do you feel? Get the fuck out of here. Right, um... Oh yes. We're gonna go around here. And we're gonna play Zelda's Lullaby. I like the way it's called the Royal Song and it just puts Zelda to sleep. Creepy. Because somehow the baddies know the Royal Family means make it easier for the good guy? I don't know. Right, that gets rid of that. Fuck you. There is a couple more things you could do in here, but... It makes, basically makes no progress to the rest of the game, if you will. So, I'm not going to bore you with that. This isn't a 100% walkthrough. This is just a man in his 30s realising he's really not as good as the games as he used to be. What the fuck are you doing? Creepy looking motherfucker. Spider! 
<laughs> He's on the web. It was an old joke where we used to call the internet the World Wide Web. For any of you younger viewers, that's what WWW stands for. Right. Gotta get caught by the molesting hand. We've got to bottom bash our way out of it. And we've got to attack this guy in the face. Literally in the face. Creepy looking motherfucker. Oh, good shot, Collins. Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Because for some reason, this creepy ass zombie looking thing won't only come near you once one of his molesting hands has got you. So, the second he's out, we button bash, twist and do everything. Oh, and get caught by it instantly. Because, oh, he's going to get a free shot on me. He's going to get a free shot. No, you're not. You thought you were going to get a shot. Troll, bitch. Oh, this is going to hurt. This one could hurt. This one. No. Oh. Oh. This is gang raping. Yeah. Oh, you fought. You fought. You fought. You had it. You fought. Get back out of here. Ow. Oh, you got to hit on me. Depressed. Oh, it's gonna take a minute. Look at him. Can't fuck her. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Dead motherfucker. This game had some horrific looking enemies in it. What crack are these Japanese people on when they write these games? Ooh, and everyone loves a big chest. The Lens of Truth. And one day, I, one day I will adjust my headset right. When I say headset, headphones. I like these headphones, they're all shady and blue. Right, so that is that done. Ha! Ah, fuck yourself! So, next point of attack, we need to head over to Lon Lon Ranch, which is a bowler's home. Because we've got to go play a game with more chickens, actually, oddly enough. We've got to play Find the Chicken to get us another bottle. Doesn't some health wouldn't fucking hurt. Great camera angle. That's, that's better. Excellent. Right. So that is the Lens of Truth captured. As I said, there is that dungeon, that mini dungeon is a bit bigger, but it's not that interesting, so I'm not going to fucking bore you with it. If you want to see a proper playthrough, I'll find a 100% video. But then please come back. <laughs> Boring. Excellent. Right. Off to the ranch. And yes, so once we get this bottle, we shall be returning to Adult Link once again. We're going to be heading back over to Zora's Domain, which when you're an adult has been frozen over by Yandorf. We have to go... Um, yeah, back out to where Lord Jabu Jabu was. He's now dead. Been done long. And there's an ice cavern over on one of the sides, but there's also another great over-sexualized fairy on the other side, so we need to remember to go and see her. Then once we go through the ice cavern, a bit of a, again a mini dungeon, but quite a bit longer than the, the well, because you have to go through the whole thing regardless. We'll get the iron boots, which allow us to basically sink to the bottom of the ocean, so we can walk around and use our hook shot as an adult, which we'll need to get into the water temple. But the trouble is with that is we cannot breathe underwater, 
in a current tunic, a bit like the Red Goron one. So we have to get our blue tunic, which is where our second bottle comes in for taking some blue fire out of the mini dungeon and unfreezing the Zora King, who will give us the blue tunic for free. Yep, we'll go back to this lazy fucker again. Always seems to be asleep. I quite idolise him. Basically, he'll throw all these chickens off, and three of them, the three you see there, are his favourites. So you've got to pick all three of them up within a set time. It gets quite interesting. You can give yourself half a clue, because they'll fly up and they'll land, so find the ones that have landed, if you can catch them in the right camera angle. Oh, and I forgot you got to pay ten fucking bucks a time. Right, so... That one there, definitely. Maybe this one. Nope. This one. Nope. This one. Nope. 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 Ugh. Nope. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. No. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> The timing! The timing! Oh, I honestly thought I wasn't going to make that. Would you like to marry Maylon? Hell yeah. Ship's fit. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, the bottles can hold milk. And if you go near a cow and play Zelda's Lullaby, that mystical song, you get free milk. And then you can see, God, no. because the cows talk in this game. Okay, so we got our bubbles. Uh, yeah, done the bottom of the well. So we now return. No, hang on. <laughs> Remembering the songs. We now return to the Temple of Time. Become an adult. No, we don't. I just thought of one more thing we need to do while we're a child. We need to go back to Zelda's castle. Now we have our bombs. And we need to see a great fairy who's going to give us a spell we are going to need again in the future. That was quite a good save, remembering that. It's a... Uh, spell called, I believe it's called Din's Fire. Yeah, Din Low. And it basically creates a huge fire vortex around you, which can light multiple... You know, there's like torch candle things that sit there. You can light multiple ones of those at the same time. Because we're going to need that later on down the road. So yeah, as I say, this is basically more of a, a clean-up episode than anything. Just go around and getting stuff that we're going to need or stuff we've missed that we're going to need anyway oh another thing I forgot to tell you about those weird eye statues back there if you put a bomb on one of them something quite amusing happens right, let's blow the shit out of that there we go those fantastic N64 graphics Yeah, so this song can blow up gravestones, can lower water, can bring an over-sexualized fairy out, can make a cow produce milk, can put Zelda to sleep, opens doors to let you know a part of a royal family. You think maybe it's time to change the pin code? It is. It's literally having the one pin code and one password for everything. I will give you a magic spell. Dins fire. Pop 
Just thinking, actually. If I remember rightly, the... Uh, the word I've forgotten. The over-sexualized fairy that we're going to see in a bit. In Zora's Domain. I believe she gives you another spell. Um, there's three spells in total. There's Din's Fire, which we just got. There's Nehru's Love, which I don't think we pick up till way later in the game. And there's another one that allows you to... Tran it transports you back to the start of a dungeon. can be quite useful. I can't remember what the hell it's called. I think that's what it is anyway. But we'll see how well memory serves. Right, let's go back through puberty. Sword up and balls down. sword in the ground, we'll pick the sword back up and now everyone's dead. It's amazing how much power one thing can have. All that power that one person has. It's like one person catching a disease and then like ending the world. Who would have thought? <laughs> Imagine that happening. Oh, that door there, in case you were wondering. That's home to a lady I like to call the Poho. Basically, it's a weird witch lady that lives in there. And she likes to collect Poe's gold. Poe's souls. Now, a Poe in Zelda is a ghost. But basically, there's a bola. Which we can't use anyway, because we're going fucking back here. Um, yeah. Poe's are basically ghosts. But out in Hyrule Field, where we are, there's some big Poe's. Which she likes to collect. Hence why I call her the Poho. And that is where the fourth bottle of the game is. You have to collect all ten of these large Poes. So you have to kill them with your bow and arrow while you're on Ebola's back. And then go out and collect them with a bottle. Then take them to her. Then once you've got all ten, she'll give you another bottle. Ah! You're too short. Here, have that. Oh yes, sneaky shit. Fuck off. I got bar an arrow now, bitch. No. Back off. Oh yes. Try it. Fucking try it. Where are you? Fuck off. Prick. Right. Oh, fucking everywhere. I don't even know what the fuck they shoot at you. It's like popcorn or something. And it opens waterfalls. Oh, there's an entrance just to Link's right at the moment. If you remember back in the Lost Woods, there was that huge like water fountain bit just before we ran into that angry ginger kid again. That's where that leads to. So the Lost Woods is actually a fairly good way of getting around. Right, Zora's Domain. We're going to pretty much ignore everything. Although I just want to see... There's some money. Yeah, get these nuts. Get my stun nuts. Right, because as we can see, when he spawns, no, no. The fat fucker has been encased in some red ice, because that makes a difference. We come back and unfreeze him with the blue flame. He will give us a Zora's tunic. Which saves us a shit ton of money. But right now, we've got to go find a 
remember that fucking fairies. Fountain is because that's the ice cavern. It might be over there. Although I'm not gonna pass the opportunity to get this hot piece. Yep. While we're here we may as well. That's two pieces, two more of those, we get another heart. Right. Ah, fucking tech tight spider thing. Alright. You can go fuck yourself. Oop, laggy. Uh, get rid of this fucking thing. Nope. It's here somewhere. I know it is. No. Let's blow the pair of these up just to be sure. That is one indestructible fucking rock. Jesus Christ. I blew the wall out. But I couldn't blow up that one rock. So yeah, what we're going to do now is go to the ice cabin. Work our way around that. I kept hold of the milk for the time being, because it basically gives you health. So, it's doing no harm there until I need it. Pharaoh's Wind, that's it. So basically you you set Pharaoh's Wind at a point in a dungeon and then you can recall the position and warp straight back there. Quite a useful bit of kit. But it only works in dungeons, I believe. Yeah, only in dungeons. Right. Fuck off. Right, let's go back round here again, because we need to climb back onto the icebergs. You bitch! Come on, come on. Link, just climb on it! It's right there! Right. Hup. 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 There we go! Oh, what the fuck? The fuck did he jump? Come on, I know you can glitch this. Just do this again. Oh, no, wrong button. Oh, each knows. Come on. I know it's doable. Ah. Oh. It's a way to fucking keep you busy for an hour, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Fuck off shooting shit at me. Oh, come on! It's been cruel. Oh, there's another one! Look at all these fuckers shooting shit at me. Right. Get this other lift. 
There we go. Don't know why he fucking didn't jump last time. Okay. Classic stalactite falling. Oh, what's these frosty buggers as well? Are they gonna freeze you? Up like that! And it absolutely murders your health! Oh! Cheap shot! Where'd you go? Look at you, sneaky fucker. See you! Who's these places? Hello. While you're there, may as well. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Give me that. No. One there, one there. Ugh. Sometimes it can be quite dim-witted. Right, where was it? Up there. There! Fuck that, that's just asking for trouble going there. Here's the blue fire. Oh! Fucking ice bat piece of shit. Oh, he's laggy in here. Oh, just kill the fucker. Fuck is it? Wow. Frosty character here. Oh, bullshit. Hit for hit. We we'll set the health when you find it. There's another bat here somewhere. Listen. Listen, it's blue fire. It doesn't seem natural. No, I've never seen blue fucking fire. What's natural about this fucking game? Right, we'll empty a bottle. Oh yeah, half and half. Because yep, you can catch fire in a glass bottle. Always worth keeping a couple. Oh shit! I'll get Oh, this is how quickly you can get fucked in this game. I knew there was a bastard bat there somewhere. Oh, where is it? No, 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 no! Oh. Ugh, me pressing the wrong fucking buttons. Again. Right. Look in the direction. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Get the fire. What the 
fuck did that bat go? Oh, he's up there. Let's see if we can lure him. Fuck off! Here we that idiot. Up here. Ooh, who doesn't love a big chest? I think it's the map. Because you don't get the ice boots to the end after you've killed a dog. How Asian. It's a man. Right, good. That good, but it is. Now we go back to the main hall. Although I am tempted to just do some maneuvering of parts here. Actually, you know, what we're going to do, we're going to take them off the sub screen because if you accidentally use it, you've got to come all the way back here again, I think. Oh, well, I think there may be one more place, but. Who the fuck could be bothered to... Ah! Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh. Who the fuck could be bothered to keep running backwards and forwards? Now... I think it's that one there I've got to blow off. Or is it that one? Ow! Nothing in that one, is there? There's a path. Because I know there's, there's just numerous ways around this place. So I need to be heading... Yeah, west. Okay. It's kind of where the compass does come in use. Oh, I remember there's a puzzle here to do as well. Just remember that. I just found the bottle. Let's take care of these fuckers first. Because these bats will just fuck you up every time. <laughs> While we're here. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not hunting them purposefully, but while they're here, may as well. Uh, I need some more blue fire. Oh, why did I do that? I thought just pressing the button was going to just, you know, take the bottle out, not actually use it. Because I'm a fucking idiot. So now I've got to push that off there to reset that. Oh, oh. oh. stupid ass. Gold, don't go down the fucking hole. Got the whole to oblivion, just like my ex. Um, go that way. Go push it that way, then that way. Like, right. God, it's <laughs> remembering. Uh, uh. Push it that way. Yeah, and you push it this way. Back onto itself. And then over here. So we get some more fire. Yeah. 
because I'm a dinlo who did this in the wrong complete, completely the wrong fucking order. Okay, can we trust ourselves enough not to press it again? Probably not. Right, fuck it off again. Ugh. Right, back this way again. Pop that one there. And I seem to remember I have to use my hammer somewhere in this dungeon. Just got a flashback. Oh, if you're ever wondering why I look, yeah, over this direction sometimes, that's because I use OBS Studio, which I think I've said before, and that's where my second monitor is, that's monitor monitoring this recording. And I just like to make sure it's working. Because I think my biggest fear is it cutting out part way through. Because I don't... It's not easy, it's not right for me to say I don't pre-record, this is all pre-recorded obviously, but I don't edit out anything as such, apart from my wife. But I don't, I mean, everything you see is initial reaction, I've never second played anything you see, in that sense. Because that's what I like in my videos. I think that natural reaction cannot be replicated. Even if the Americans would disagree with me. Fucking direction do I push this now? Is that right? Oh, I can't even remember. And I just turned Scottish there for some reason. Is that way? Right? Yeah, I'll go this way. God. And I go back this way. Actually, while this is here, I might see if I can just. Take that jump! Yes! Beautiful! That's the spare fire. Uh, ah, shit. I might make the jump. I've got it in the wrong place. But we might be able to make that jump. Yeah, of course he can. Beautiful. Ah, yes, this is the final boss. Well, wolf thing. Now, we're going to put that bottle away. We're going to keep that last bottle for the Fat King. Although, luckily, this time we don't have to watch him scrub his ass across for half a fucking hour. This is such a cool looking room. Love it. Hey, Daggy. I can't wait to steal your boots. Come on. It's the most acrobatic fucking dog I've ever seen. That dog just did a backflip. What the fuck? Look, look at that! <laughs> no cruelty to animals. Just stabbing dogs. Come here, Fido. I can do backflips too. Right, we're not going that way. Ooh. Who doesn't love a big chest? These will be our iron boots. So now we can walk across the ocean floor. <laughs> oh my god. Of course, yes. It's time to learn a new song, ladies and gentlemen. How are we time wise? What I'm hoping for is we have enough time here to get this shit done, go and get the Zora's tunic from the Fat King and get ourselves into the Water Temple ready for the next episode. So the next episode we just start in the Water Temple and we can go from there. That is the plan. 
Oh, if you have courage enough to read this fucking text that you can't skip. Basically saying, this is how you get to the fucking water temple. I know. But it is amazing to think, trying to play this game through without a strategy guide. Yeah, remember, I don't remember those strategy guides. It's the books we had before we had the internet. Trying to play this game through without a strategy guide. Um, how would you even know this place was here? And this is how you get into the water temple. Basically, this one allows us to walk straight to Lake Hylia, which is going to be very useful. Because we can't get to Lake Hylia through Zora's Domain anymore, because it's all frozen. Uh, Lake Hylia, uh, just in case you're wondering, is where we found the bottle with the note in before we went and saw the fat game first time. Episode 3 or whatever that was. I bet me. Come man. Oh, it's such a cool room. I love this room. Right, anywho, so we now have the iron boots. Now Navi's gonna say, you can't breathe. And now I can't take them off again because when she fucking talks, I can't bring the start menu up. Nine bitch. Oh, that was a recoil. Fucking hell. I think this is the way out. I can't remember. Ah, yeah. Yeah, we're not warping to Lake Hylia straight away. For obvious reasons. Because we got to go defrost the king. Wow. Ooh. Saw you coming. Bitch. Fuck off, she was shit at me! Fucking infinite supply of popcorn. Trying to remember, I think they're called Octo Rocks, those things. Oh no, I've heard some fucked up names before, but that's a new one. Right, stand here. <laughs> Got one shot at this, let's get it fucking right. Beautiful. King Fat Bum. I don't even know what the fuck it is. It's like a frog fish hybrid thing. La 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 la. Hey, with this tunic, you won't choke. <laughs> choke, choke, choke. Beautiful. Our next piece of clothing. We're doing well. Excellent. Right. Anything else I need to do around here? No. I don't think so. Bum, 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 bum. Although while we're in Lake Highlander, I believe there's a couple of... I know there's at least one heart piece I can grab fairly quickly. So let's go do that. It's in that building over there. Because just below us there is the entrance to the temple. Which we can now get into. Because we can stand on the bottom of the ocean with the iron boots. And hook shot the, the lock. Oh, fuck it now! Lag! I know I sound like a right millennial there, but that genuinely was the lag. Beautiful. Right. Oh, what? Arrows, yes. Arrows. I like arrows. Not going here. Now, I believe it's at the bottom of this thing. Uh, let's put the tunic on while we're here. 
Ow! Mother fucker! Alright, it wasn't a hard piece. It was a thing. Ah, look at that amazing detail shark. Row. It's actually a worse model than Jaws. Although I'm pretty sure the shark's name actually isn't Jaws, if I remember rightly. Oh. Oh no, it's him. He gives you the heart piece, but you have to dive. You have to do like a super dive with a new scale, which you only get from the fishing lake through some ridiculous... Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Stipulations, as always is, in a Zelda game. Right, anything else I need to do? One thing I do need to do, actually. Is you gotta shoot the um I can't do that anyway because the water level is not high enough. Oh well. Let's go open this fucking door. So go in here. Drop like a sack of shit. Ah, uh, and here we have the infamous water temple of Ocarina of Time. Pixel perfect, fucking hell. The infamous water temple that everyone talks about in this game. Because of one key. Right. We have made it to the water temple. I will also show off a, a different thing as well. Normally when you respawn into the game, you get spawned either as a child into your house, or as adult Link, you get spawned into the Temple of Time. But if you're in a temple itself, or a dungeon, uh, this is where you'll restart. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. And yeah, so, again, more of a cleanup episode. We got ourselves a couple of bottles, we got the Lens of Truth, we got the Iron Boots, we've got the Zora's Tunic, we're just adjusting our trousers, or tunic, and we are in the water temple and ready to go for the next time. So, my name is CJ, I'll catch y'all later. Bye!